Hey, what's up, you guys? Avenger Vest here. Um, I got one of the um, figures from the Marvel Legends Wolverine series, and um, believe it or not, I was not expecting to find this at all. Um, this weekend, me and my boy Dave, we went to the gym, and like, I would say like two miles away is my comic book store, which I go to. Which is my main comic book store. Oh crap. Which is my main comic book store to go to. Um, and I didn't even want to go because I um, I was not in the mood to get any comics. Um, and plus I already went to a comic book store. And as most of you know right now, I'm kind of going through a hard time um, with like personal stuff and and work and like getting tired and everything. And I'm trying to post as many videos. Oh, I'm going off topic anyway. How I got to the, how I got this figure. Um, so we go to the comic book store. I really didn't want to go. Um, my friend Dave, he he was looking around the Marvel stuff. Come on, stand up. He was looking around the Marvel stuff, and um, and I was just walking around. I turned right. I'm just looking through some of the Hasbro figures, and I'm like, oh, whatever, whatever, and um. I go to like, um, I would say like more of like the adult, come on, this figure was like standing up when I post posed it. I went to like the adult section, which is my, like my level where I like, um, go for my props and everything. And if you're like a younger cat, I do not recommend going in that aisle because there's like some graphic stuff in there. So I was going through there looking for some props. There was nothing. I went back to the Hasbro aisle, not Hasbro, the Marvel aisle and I guess some dude, or maybe I didn't see it, um, put this figure up, and I turned right, and I'm like, holy crap, because I did not expect to see this figure, and, and um, the the guy who works there, I'm friends with him, um, I asked him, where did you get this from? He said, oh, my friend from Hong Kong, he, um, he got this early, and he decided to send it to them, and they have, this was the only one that they had, um, the paint was kind of messed up. But I was like, screw it, I'm taking it anyway. So, pretty awesome, and he's not standing up. So anyway, onto the figure. Um, actually onto the packaging, which is actually very nice. Um, right here has a nice, well actually on the front, it has a nice picture of Wolverine. It says Wolverine right there. This is the Wolverine Legends line, or Marvel Legends Wolverine series. It says Wolverine right there. Right here it says, um, is Wolverine the, uh, is Wolverine the ultimate weapon? Hell yeah. With claws like that, it's Mr. Ultimate Weapon to you. So, um, there's a nice picture of Wolverine. There's a figure right there in a horrible pose. There's Puck. Don't really have an interest in getting him. There's that Cyclops, which I really want to get. There's that Sabretooth, which I can care less about. This rogue, oh my goodness. This rogue I cannot wait to get. Just looks sexy and everything. This um and plus I do not have a rogue in Marvel Legends form. And um but we're not getting her until like the X-Men movie. So instead of that we're getting the Emma Frost, which is still awesome and sexy at the same time, but I wish we could get the rogue first. Because this is more modern and we already have like uh Emma Frost and somewhat of a Marvel modern look. So onto the figure. Um, I'm one of the few guys to have this figure. Um, it's starting to come out. Not really. It's it's mostly gonna come out in like November. But anyway, onto the figure. The head sculpt is pretty nice. Looks like he's pissed off. Nice line work here, right here. See, like he's like um, stretching his face. Kind of mad at something. There's um, he has silver eyes. Which is really nice, very comic accurate. On the back right here, like I said, the paint was kind of messed up, but I didn't care. Um, kind of messed up on the paint right here. And um, right here, which you can't really see. But the lines right here came out pretty clean. And on the front, came out pretty nice as well. Um, I have two grites with this figure, and I'll get into that in a second. There's a belt. 
does not have the X-Men symbol, which is not bother me at all because I'm gonna have this particular Wolverine for my X for my um, Avengers, which he's gonna look great in. This one I would probably use. I'm definitely gonna use for my X-Men. Um, the blue came out here. It came out pretty clean. And the boots. And there's the buckles. And there's treads at the bottom. So pretty nice. Um, now the two grabs I have with the figure. Come on, come on. He's a little stiff. I've been really posing him around a lot. I'm gonna pose him around a little bit. I pose. I actually just opened this figure today because I um, I lost it. I just could not find it. It was in my closet, which I don't know how it got there. Um, the claws. It came out really really bad one of my gripes with the figure on camera does not look as bad but in person it looks terrible not terrible just not as good because it's kind of like a whitish color very flat gray on this figure you can see like it's more of a metallic metallic um gray so they kind of messed up with that and the yellow. I do not like how the yellow is all pale and everything. In some shots it looks really really dope but and it doesn't really bother me that much but it would be nice if they can add like some black shading or like some orange shading like they did on this one. This is not orange this is yellow with um, orange shading which came out really nice. <clears throat> Pardon me I'm a little skit sick. Um, but other than that, this is a great figure. One of those instances where it's simple but awesome. I love stuff like that where it's just simple and awesome. Like Havoc, um, very simple but awesome. Oh, I'm getting off track. Anyway, the articulation, the head looks up. Pretty nice. Moves down, side to side. Um, inner shoulder joint. It moves back and forth. Up and down. Oh, come on. Down. Um, swivel up the bicep, double jointed elbow, wrist moves side to side, up and down. Um, the diaphragm joint does not really move down, moves back pretty nicely. Waist joint, it goes forward, back. Um, this is a wide joint, so you have to twist it. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees, um, calf swivel, foot moves back and forth and a beautiful ankle pivot so very nice figure um just those two problems which can this actually can be fixed i will actually talk about that in a second but before i get to that uh, actually before i get to that i'm gonna show his like little base thing um which i do, do not find um useless because in my pictures or like uh maybe a display i don't know because i wouldn't really use this in a display but a picture if your figure isn't very visible, you can like stack up some of these and you can like be more visible. Not just this figure, I'm talking about figures in general. Um, let's get a size comparison. Here he is next to my extra X-Force Wolverine, which I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. This one or this one? Personally, I like this one better, even though this is not entirely comic book accurate. Same thing with the SDCC one. This is not circular. Circular. This is a, actually a square in the comics. It was like a more circular um, version. So, um, same figure, just different paint, different claws too. <clears throat> Here he is next to the Astonishing Wolverine, which is a lot shorter, which I'm glad that they did. I, they did retool this one. Um, but still a great figure. Probably my third figure Wolverine. This is definitely my second. Here he is next to Iron Man. So he works great with your Avengers. I guess he could be, nah, never mind. Works pretty good. And here he is next to Black Panther. Ah, uh, he wasn't standing up. Crap. Wasting time. I'm running out of time, so I gotta do this quick. So they work pretty good together and they did actually fight in the comics. So I might do like a display with them fighting in my detail or something. 
Um, <clears throat> the way to like fix the claws is, like I said, this is an extra one. I might have, I have this one as like a relaxed one so I could par probably um, take out the claws for this one and um, take out the claws from this and put it into this one. So yeah, very nice figure. Um, some of them are going up on Amazon. I highly recommend it, especially if you don't have this one or this one. So yeah, this is Avenger Vassi. Once again, sorry um, for the review. I'm really sick. I got sick on like Friday, but um, anyway, you know what it is. Um, so this is Avenger Vassi, and I'll catch you later.